Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about the age old question, who pays for dates? Specifically first date, second date, what is this new etiquette in the 21st century? Now, of course, if you're a little bit old school like me, we were brought up to always pay for the dates. That's kind of something that the social construct that was instilled in us as I was growing up, but now that Women are more empowered, women are making their own money, women have this boss babe mentality, they have this independence about them. There is sometimes women that have pushback where they want to immediately start a relationship or a potential relationship on equality. So sometimes you might run into a problem where a woman insists on paying half or paying a portion of the bill. Now this in and of itself isn't wrong. Now, would I allow a woman that I'm first starting to date, would I allow her to pay for the date? I don't want to use the word allow, but I would strongly discourage her and I would explain to her why. Let's dive into this because um, I get a lot of guys that are, you know, they're a little bit older, they're getting back out there in the dating market and I have done some email coaching and text coaching when guys would come back to me and says, hey man, you know, am I supposed to pay? Or if she offers to pay for the tip, should I let her? You know, I'm a little bit confused. I don't want to screw this up. And I said, fair enough. I understand it. So let's navigate this together. So the very first rule that I tell guys, this is young and old, when you're paying for a day or when you're, actually when you're, when you're taking a woman out on a date. You want to try to separate yourself from the date. And what I mean by that is a lot of guys want to impress this new girl so much that they, they create this extravagant date where it's this five course meal or, you know, you go into these very high end restaurants. Maybe I've seen guys buy jewelry or even flowers and they they hype the date up so much that they become nervous and by extension by you being nervous that you want it to go so well you make her nervous so the very first thing i say on a first date is you want to keep it very simple also you got to think about if you don't know this type of woman if you start off with very expensive dates and you start entering into a relationship and you keep that level up, that keep that level of high dates up. Well, if you don't have the kind of money, if you're not that kind of caliber guy where this is normal for you, if that is, if you're making a shit ton of money and these kinds of dates are just normal for you, well then that's normal. But for the vast majority of us, that's not. So what you wanna do is start simple and then as she invests into you with her attention, her maybe sexual energy, her femininity, whatever she's investing into you, then you guys can both kind of take it to that next level, maybe have special dates, things like this. You want to avoid going all in very quickly because again, what if she doesn't like you and you just spent two, three, four hundred dollars on a date for nothing. So the very first point I want to make on this is keep it very simple. Typically go to a place that you're comfortable going. It could be a bar. It could even just be a park. It just could be get some coffee. It can be a very low investment because you're not trying to impress her. What you're really trying to do is learn about her and her learn about you. It's not an interview. It's a get together, a gathering of to see if there's something there, if there's something more than just, yeah, he's cute. Yeah, she's cute. You know, what if she doesn't have a brain? What if you don't have a brain? What if you guys have your ideologies are completely different? And so you're spending three or $400 to realize you're not really that compatible. It's far better to go simple to a place that's fairly neutral to a place where she's not going to feel out of place to a place that maybe you're not going to feel out of place and just talk to her, have a normal dialogue and see what she's about 
have her see what you're about and then take it from there. But let's talk specifically on how to handle the bill. Now we just talked about do inexpensive dates. Very simple dates, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. And here's a good litmus test for this. If you go to a place that's fairly inexpensive and she's vibing with you and you're vibing with her, well then you know she's a fairly grounded person. If you go to some place and she starts saying, oh, this is what you do for your first dates, the, the, you, we're going here? No, I, I'm expecting you to take me on a really nice dinner or I'm expecting us to dress up. Well, you know she has gold digger mentality or she has this new think where she's the prize. Now remember in this video, in, my, in all of my videos I talk to you guys, if you're a high level man making high level moves, you're the prize, not her. There's way fewer good high quality men on this earth than there are high quality good women. And so those women are competing for men like you. So you have to remember that you're the prize. You have to remember that you're not here to try to impress her. Yes, you wanna make a good impression on her and impress upon her your interest in her, but you're not here to lavish her with meals and, and jewelry and private jets and all this crap. So this is a good litmus test. You take her someplace neutral, very inexpensive. You get to learn about her and see how she reacts to this and then of course you can take it to the next level if there's future dates. One of the things um, to remember too is on restaurants. Now I've done some videos on this where you want to plan the date. We always talk about this, plan the date. Don't ask her where do you want to go, anything you want to do. It puts too much pressure on her. Remember you asked her out so you should plan the date. But if you're planning to go to a restaurant one thing you probably should ask her is if she has any allergies because if you go to a seafood restaurant and she's allergic to every fucking thing there, you kind of screwed up. So it's okay to ask her if you are planning on a restaurant, hey, just so I know, are you allergic? Is there anything that you do absolutely hate? She might hate Mexican. Well, you don't want to go to a Mexican restaurant. So that's okay in that contest just to get from her some kind of direction on what she can't eat. And if she's completely fine with it, plan the date. Keep the restaurant very simple. Again, we're not going to make it very high end. And the idea here is go to a restaurant that you can afford where the bill means nothing to you. That's how you want to perceive on all of your dates, especially on the front end where the bill doesn't mean anything. If it's $20, if it's 100 bucks, whatever it is, whatever you can afford that is not going to affect other bills is not going to affect anything else in your life. That's the idea of the date. I often say coffee bars or coffee places like these quaint little private coffee places are a really good first date, but a lot of people kind of need alcohol uh, or at least have a couple of drinks to loosen up. And I'm not saying that's right or that's wrong. So if that's the type of person you are where you wanna just have a couple of drinks and kind of loosen up a little bit, well then obviously a coffee bar isn't for you. So you can go to that restaurant or that maybe really small kind of quiet bar. You wanna pick quiet places. The second idea is do simple dates with the focus on the two of you, not the actual venue. Now we just talked about this, but I think I have to elaborate a little bit more. When you're on a date, the focus is on the two of you, not the venue. And sometimes the venue can be overwhelming so you don't get a chance to actually focus on the girl. This is why I always tell guys, never go on a date, for instance, you're not gonna wanna take her to the movies because now you're focusing on the venue. You can't really talk to her. You don't want to take her to, you know, like um, concerts or stuff like this because your attention and her attention are being pulled away onto that venue. So avoid all of those until you're actually in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend mode, then those things are fine. But keep it very intimate, keep it very, um, very simple. Now let's actually get into the when you pay, how you pay, and all this stuff. Here's an easy rule of thumb. If you invited her, then you pay. 
if she invites you, well, then there should be an expectation or she should at least be thinking, I'm probably going to pick up this. You can by all means chip in. You can offer, hey, let me grab the tip, whatever. But if you invite her, and this is why I would say for the first date, typically first and second, maybe even third date, you're asking her out. You're still in that courting process. So anytime you invite her to do something, you should pay. And really, she should probably expect that because it's like, hey, dude, you just invited me. You know, I, I didn't invite you. I, I'm like you. You're cute. But I'm not. There's no expectation of me invest in this yet. I'm showing up. I want to learn about you. But I shouldn't have to pay. That's really kind of the logic that a lot of women have. And I don't think it's faulty logic. Now, if she invites you out and then she expects you to pay, that's kind of a red flag because you're like, you invited me. It's the same logic. Now, women don't like to hear that, but it is the same logic. So if you have this expectation, if you invite her out and you're picking her up if she allows you, you're planning the date and you're also expecting her to do all these things and pay for half the date, you're not gonna get your dick wet. It's just never gonna happen for you. So you have to understand that you're looking for that win-win relationship. She, you want her to invest in you, but in reality, you kind of have to invest a little bit more into her on the front end of the relationship because you want her to like you. The other part of who pays for the date, listen guys, if you make more than her, then you should kind of act like it's not a big deal, okay? So a lot of women have this idea they want 50-50 or equality. They don't. It's bullshit. They want to invest into what they can afford. So I'm just going to use a very simple number here. Let's say you make $100,000 a year and she makes $50,000 a year. Okay, you make double her. Let's just look at you're on a date and she is adamant of paying her half or her share. Well, she's really not thinking half of the $100 check. She's thinking $25 because that's half of her income based onto that check. Okay, so women are never, I want 50-50. It's really based on income, affordability, and all that. Don't get too hung up on that. But a lot of guys think you should pay for half right down the middle. Well, if you double her income, that's not half. That's not how it works. So you want to be chivalrous. You want to be somebody that you have an opportunity for sex. You want to have the opportunity to maybe see her again. So if you make more offer to pay the bill, especially if you invited her out. Also, if she invites you, you should still offer, even though she says absolutely no, this is on her, she, blah, 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 at least offer, hey, can I pick up, uh, can I pick up the tip? Can maybe we go coffee after this and I grab that? Something like that. Because again, you still want to invest in her. You still want to kind of keep that equality about the environment in which you still make more than her. Now, if you guys are both freaking surgeons or you both make the exact same amount, a little bit different, but nobody really makes the same amount exactly. So the idea is if she, if you earn more than her, pay for the bills, pay for the tip, like it's really not a big deal. It's going to make her feel safe. It's going to make her feel that you are investing in her. And remember, women will invest more in men who obviously they have an attraction to, they have a competency to, but who are also willing to share their resources with her. If you're being stingy on the front end about your resources, she's going to remember that down the road and say, this guy, you know, he pays the very bare minimum. He makes me pay for this. He makes me pay for that. This dude makes twice as much as me. What the fuck? You're not really investing into her the way she's expecting it. So that's the way they think about this. If she earns more money than you, I would still suggest you split the bill. I know I just said the other way around, but for women, if she earns more than you and it's a hundred dollar bill and she makes the hundred thousand and you make the 50, 
you still want her to like you, okay? She understands she makes more than you. We're still not there yet in this equality um, of women's mindset. They say they want equality, they don't. So now you should be paying the $50 on that $100. You, you should be splitting the bill, okay? And also one other thing, I just wanna add this. This is for like the younger guys or even the guys who are going through the divorce and they don't have money. You can still take women on free dates go to a park. Again, coffee is a couple bucks, but you can still go out there and socialize with women and do a lot of things that don't cost a lot of money. Don't feel like I can't ask her out. I know she likes me, I know I like her, but I'm, I'm just struggling right now. At least give her the opportunity to say no. Don't say no for her give her the opportunity now one thing i say if she insists on paying then let her if she is just adamant and you can start feeling the energy shifting from one of playfulness like hey no i got the bill and she's like no i got the bill and then you're like no listen I, this is the way it is I, I really like it and you can start feeling that now there's this shift where she's digging in let her pay because again you want her to like you this isn't a pissing contest on, you know, I'm more alpha, I'm more dominant, the damn it, give me the check. No, if she's digging in, there might be a reason why, okay? Some women, especially in the 21st century, they're very independent, and one date isn't gonna change that. Yes, you want them soft, you want them yielding, you want them feminine, but their guard is still up for probably three or four dates. So she's probably setting the tone early on. See where it goes. Don't argue with her. If she insists on paying and she's already got her card out and she hands it to the waiter, say thank you. You can offer, hey, can I at least pay for the tip? If she says no, say okay. Don't make it a big deal. Don't don't think of it's a strike on your ego, on your manhood. This is just how some women are. And again, if you do like her and she likes you, then it's really not gonna be that big of a deal. So what happens now, maybe this is second date, third date. First date we always says, listen, nine times out of 10, pay for it. Second date, third date, things like this, I would still, Lean back to the first point. If you ask her out for the second date and she agrees, I would still pay for the second date, okay? The general rule is you want to be paying more and more often, but you want her to start chipping in. So on the second date, maybe you say, hey, no, I, I, I got this. And let's say she offers to pay for the tip. Now you wanna slowly get her to invest. You can say, absolutely, you know what, that's fine. There's not gonna be, uh, it's not a shit test, guys, I promise you. She wants to feel like she's contributing on a financial level. That's a very good sign. If she never, ever offers to chip in, that's a red flag for you. But it's a slow burn. So second date, she might not offer. Third date, you should start at least looking into if she is now at least offering to pay the tip, or maybe you guys have a double date type thing where you're going to dinner, then the movies, it's, who knows? You can say, hey, you buy the movie tickets, something like that. But you wanna start as you're progressing down into your relationship, get her to move and to start contributing financially. Girls, same thing. There's a lot of guys out there that will mooch off of you and this is the same type of sign. Of course, it happens a lot less, but you need to watch out for the signs. If the guy's not really contributing financially at all, as your relationship progresses, he's a moocher. This is how guys think women are. Oh, you're just a moocher, okay? That's just how it is. So you don't really wanna get into that. So guys, that's really all I got on like paying for the date, understanding at least for the first, probably the second date, you should at least be willing to pay for it, make it as low investment. Don't treat the date as this job interview, just treat it as two people trying to get to know each other. And then as you're, as you're 
relationship progresses, start looking for signs that she's investing financially on whatever portion she can. Again, remember, if you double her income, you shouldn't be expecting her to pay half of the bill. It should be half kind of based on her income, okay? Make dating fun. Don't make it this stuffy thing where it's if you do that, I do this, this tit and tat, tit for tat thing because you're not going to get a sexual relationship out of women this way. They're going to view you as weird. They're going to view you as the this guy who is just trying to one-up her, this power dynamic. And it really shouldn't be that way. We're trying to do win-win relationships. And it's always the first couple of dates that's really going to dictate if that relationship is moving in a in the a right the right direction where it's going to be a, a healthy relationship or this relationship where you might just be forcing it and because you like her so much you're willing to ignore her red flags you're willing to ignore the fact that she doesn't ever chip in on dates just to get sex from her that's still a lose win relationship and it's winning more on her because she is able to have a lifestyle where she is able to get what she wants out of the relationship, which is now called transactional, okay? Maybe you're doing way too much, you're buying her things, all this. I don't wanna see guys do that. I see this all the time, where they're literally making a transactional relationship with these women. You want it win-win, you both wanna be contributing equally to the amount that you can afford, equally to your effort. If you start seeing her, her pull back, you pull back. It's very simple. With that, I want to talk to you guys. Linked down below is our brand new Brotherhood app. Take a look down below. The app has probably over 60 hours of video content specific to dating, specific to social dynamics. A lot of it has to do with purpose, masculinity, Inside this app, you're also going to find a values quiz so you can find out what your core values are. We have what's called the wheel of life so you can feel, see what you're coming up short on in your life so you can start making moves to shore up and level up that action. We also have complete guide where you can put in your complete profile, your goals, and we have habit tracking. So it's in real time through our AI, through our proprietary software that we created in real time, you can create an avatar of yourself and you can start tracking your habits. And remember, what you can't measure, you can't manage. Now you can manage everything, every aspect of your life. You can see in real time what you're coming up short on, what you need to work on. Also, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you know new videos are being dropped. And if you do find any value in this, consider donating to the channel. It costs a lot of money to run these channels, to run the website, to run all these free webinars and seminars that we do. Consider buying us a cup of coffee. Hit the donate now button below. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks.